my name is Matthew Hill, um, and today I'll be presenting about the environmental impact of natural gas. So why are we concerned? Um, in a lot of ways, natural gas is a lot better than using coal or oil to get energy, as you can see from this chart here, um, but in some aspects it is definitely not, um, especially when it comes to uh, groundwater contamination during hydrofracking. And hydrofracking or hydraulic fracturing is when you pump water mixed with chemicals into the ground to break up the rock and release this natural gas for us to capture and for us to use. Um, and when this method is used, sometimes the water that's pumped can leak into underground reservoirs of water that people use for drinking water and can contaminate them with the pollutants in the, wa in the hydrofracking water. Um, and another issue with this is that uh, natural gas is highly composed of methane, which is one of the most potent greenhouse gases. It's almost 21 times more effective at trapping heat than carbon dioxide. So a uh, huge issue when this gets released into the environment. Um, so what is going on now to deal with this currently? Um, so there's new technology for drilling wells, which allows for horizontal and directional drilling within a well so that one well can be used more efficiently instead of having to drill more wells, which would be bad. Um, and another approach is obviously hydrofracking, which I just spoke about, but it's a relatively new technology, so there's a lot of environmental impact. It's not good, but um, the methods being studied, the sites are being studied so that it can be improved in terms of environmental impact for the future. Um, and another thing is that since odor, uh, natural gas is odorless, um, some places mix it with a substance called mercaptan, um, which is really smelly. It smells like rotten eggs so that if there is a, a natural gas or methane leak, you can smell that and you can sense it and be aware and take care of it, deal with it. So <clears throat> what else could be done um, to improve this natural gas environmental footprint. Um, one suggestion is uh, making more severe regulations for the construction and the operation of sites so that there's less leakages, there's less groundwater contamination and stuff like that. Um, the wastewater itself is another aspect that can be dealt with uh, better. Um, currently the Clean Air Act uh, requires business companies to treat their wastewater if it has a cer above a certain amount of pollutants in it, but if it doesn't, then it can be released or used um, in agriculture for whatever uh, demands there are for water for that, which isn't the best, but is acceptable. Um, and a uh, third method that's used by some companies is actually recycling wastewater and t using that water that was already used for hydrofracking once and as long as it doesn't have a certain amount of pollutants in it, it can be used for another round of hydraulic fracturing and then dealt with after that. So, implementing these methods will not be easy. There are definitely some obstacles to overcome before that um, and one of them is the financial obstacle. Um, as with any business, the main idea is to uh, make a profit, is to pay your employees, is to keep everything moving along. Um, so that's definitely always a concern. Um, another concern is that is the technology that with hydrofracking, the technology is just not there yet for it to be cleaner. Um, the instruments we use, the, the methods that we use are just not where they would need to be in order to extract natural gas with no impact to the environment. Um, and awareness is another big thing that um, a lot of people don't realize that natural gas is better, yes, in some aspects, but also can be worse and that it is still dangerous and still needs to be dealt with appropriately. So in summary, um, the environmental costs right now of natural gas are pretty outweighed by the environmental benefit when you compare it to coal and petroleum and oil and stuff, so uh, that's definitely true, but 
may it won't be like that for forever. The methane is definitely an issue, and it's definitely going to need to be dealt with. Um, and some of the barriers are like the financial barriers I was saying, and technological barriers that we need to get better instruments. We need to do things that can be affected by the awareness that people know that we need to have better instruments, get people working on it, get people aware that there is this methane release and that natural gas is not um, a perfect solution to the energy crisis. Um, and for scale-up potential, there's definitely scale-up potential for natural gas extraction projects um, and as well for decreasing the carbon footprint of those projects and making sure that the environmental impact is not too negative. All right, thank you.